Hey guys, this is Salim and in this video let's look at one of the custom ROMs for the Nexus 5X, the Pixel ROM. So first, just open up your browser, go to pixelrom.xyz as you can see. So this opens the Google Pixel ROM page. By the way, this Pixel ROM is developed by a guy named this guy. I don't know how to pronounce his name. So yeah, he has done a great job. So going to home, just download this from here. As soon as you click on it, it'll start downloading. Will not download it. And then just connect your phone to your PC and transfer it, transfer it on your memory card or phone memory. And then let's go to the 5X. I booted into TWRP recovery. If you don't know how to boot into TWRP recovery, just flash the TWRP recovery. If you don't know how to flash it, I leave a card on how to flash it, TWRP recovery. So on the TWRP recovery, just go to wipe, advanced wipe. Just check the options Dalvik, System, Data and Cache. Don't select internal storage. Now after I've done that, I'm, I'm not doing that. After I've done that, just click on install. I've copied it onto my USB drive connected via OTG. So I'll just show you. So this is the file I downloaded. Just swipe to flash. Okay. After you have flashed, it will take about approximately about 10 minutes. Just hit on reboot, it's rebooting, so we have got the pixel boot screen, that's pretty amazing. And the pixel boot animation also. So first boot might take a couple of minutes. I have already bo uh, booted this, installed this, so it will take less time. And it has got the sound also. See, so here's the ROM. Let's unlock it. Unlock it. So this is the ROM itself. Uh, it has the usual Pixel launcher that is from the Pixel phones. You can see the date, mm, sorry, the weather up top along with the date and day. A Google Pill logo to the left and swiping to the left brings the usual Google now. So okay, and we have the normal Pixel launcher as I said. So swipe up to see all apps, swipe down to dismiss it. And uh, the the usual Nuga features like long press on an icon and few options appear and shortcuts appear. So mostly these are these shortcuts are just on Google apps, but like this, but they are also on some third party apps like my mail client here and Telegram. So let's jump into settings. So going to settings, we have the usual, usual stuff here. Let's go into about phone. Let's see. So the bill number is the latest January bill number N4F26I. It is the latest January security patch Android version 7.1.1. The only thing here is the model name is Pixel and status. So system updates is the thing that the developer has built in this ROM. So in system updates, you have the Google Pixel ROM OTA. Whenever an OTA is available, and I mean it's they are Delta updates. So whenever an OTA is available, you'll be able to download and install it via TWRP recovery. Let's go back. Let's check the settings one by one. Wi-Fi same Bluetooth. See the accent here is that of Pixel phones. Okay, and let's go into first display. So we have the usual brightness, there were draft to brightness. Night light is from Pixel devices. So it actually works. So let me show you. If I turn it on, the screen just turns yellowish. Ambient display works. Tap to wake is a functionality present here, but it does not work as of now. Rest all is same. Notification is the same. Let's not go into that. And sound. You have all the ringtones of Pixel phones, not the Nexus one, Pixel phones. 
So let's hear them out. That's pretty amazing. Storage is same, battery same, same as in they are the same as in uh, Nexus Nougat 7.1.1. Yes. Moves the same, you get jump to camera, flip camera, lift to check phone, and all these three work. Rest everything is same. Mm, I don't think. One more thing the home button animation is present here like that in pixel phones see here also google assistant is also present here so if you long press it uh, my internet isn't working right now otherwise i'd show you google assistant is present or maybe it's because of the screen recorder that i'm using google assistant is present that's pretty amazing see google assistant so yeah no extra features but it's quite stable uh, the phone did not reboot on me anytime i would uh, the battery life on it is okay like that it's present on stock i would get a screen on time of about three hours but uh, i am used if i'm using a custom rom i prefer a custom kernel and here i i'm using the elemental x kernel see so and battery life on the element x kernel is pretty amazing i have some other screenshots for battery also let me show you mm, device folders screenshots yes so as you can see i had 18 percent battery left and the screen and the phone ideal time was 16 approximately 17 hours and the screen on time i was getting was 4 hours and 30 13 minutes 4 hours and 4, 14 minutes to be to round off so that's pretty amazing for a rom that is stock uh, and uh, what more i just love this animation i just keep on playing with it uh, one more thing to notice is that all the icons are rounded we do not get rounded icons on nexus phones but we only get rounded icons on pixel phones so that's pretty good so mostly the icons are rounded if the developer has made the icon rounded it will appear rounded otherwise it won't like the photos and normal nexus phones the photos icon is not rounded the gmail icon as well as the youtube icon so this was Pixel ROM on the Nexus 5X. Of course, there are a lot of ROMs with a lot of customization option. This does not have any customization options, but it's stable and it's quite stable like the st uh, stock Nexus ROM. I wish the stock Nexus ROM should have been like this only. If you like my video, do hit the like button, comment for any queries and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, press the bell icon so that you get all my updates in the near future. Till then, this is Salim signing off.